excited about this one because y'all I'm almost at 1k so this is a good chance for a lot of y'all a lot of my supporters thank y'all for getting me almost there of getting to know me so I posted on my Instagram story if you are not following me what are you doing it's right there go follow me y'all anyways I posted on my story a Q&A so I put the little box I had y'all you know throw in some questions and yeah i chose 25 questions that i am going to answer i'm gonna make it as short and simple as as i can so yeah let's go ahead and get into this video if y'all not already subscribe to my youtube channel go ahead and do it and y'all go ahead and touch on the other content that y'all have not seen and stay tuned for more content anyways let's get into the video okay so we're gonna hop straight into it y'all i am looking on my laptop yeah anyway so first question is what is my dream car i got two cars y'all first is a jeep i want a jeep so bad i'm not talking about a regular jeep i'm talking about the jeeps you take off the doors sometimes you can put it back on i want a jeep like that so we're gonna say a jeep top top number one a Jaguar or a Mercedes so on to the next question um, my biggest pet peeve I would say my biggest pet peeve is talking like being in a serious conversation talking and stopping and talking so like stopping between my my words third question what made me start doing hair I'ma just keep it short and simple with this question hair my mama was a hairstylist my mama did my hair i had a my edges done y'all edges you know edges was done circle around perimeter all of that was good but in the middle of my head it was a bun because my hair was never finished i love you mama but um mama never finished my hair y'all so i um started to eventually do my own of course still look crazy but i kept doing it i kept doing it and i got good at it and then people started seeing my work on me they're like girl you good and i'm like mm, i don't want to take clients i'm not you know i'm not professional and i started and it started rolling in i don't care your work is amazing um so then i found that you don't have to have a hair license to braid so i'm like mm. and i got into that so more of the story is i got tired of waiting on my mama to keep me up <laughs> with my hair so i just got into it on my own and then eventually i fell in love with doing it and then it became a bigger thing okay so on to the next what three trips do i want to go on mm, one it's between bora bora like for a vacay and then jamaica california so yeah on to the next what is my favorite hobby I don't know if you necessarily consider that as a hobby. I think you do. But I love skating. Yeah, I'm a skater. I like reading. I like journaling. I love journaling, y'all. And um, yeah. Question number six. Um, am I single? Do I look single, y'all? Like, do I really look single? <sighs> yeah, guys, I'm single. I am single because I want to be. So yeah, let's move on. Next, do I miss my ex? I don't know. Do I miss my ex? Nah, I'm just kidding. Honestly, it's nothing to miss for real. And if you know, you know. Biggest accomplishment. My biggest accomplishment, I would say, is graduating early. Graduating early, it threw me through a lot. But I did it. I graduated early. As soon as I graduated, I got into a salon. Started building my clientele. Money started rolling in. Now I got all of this stuff going on. I'm super excited for what I did and how far I got into it. And I'm glad that that's something that I started and finished because it was so many times I was just like, you know what? Forget it. I don't want to graduate early anymore. This is too much. But yeah, I did it, y'all. And I am 
very excited about it uh so yeah that is my biggest accomplishment is graduating early <clears throat> okay so next would i date a known 304 if you don't know what a 304 is you probably shouldn't be watching this video um no as simple as that is i would never personally i don't even like people i talk to being all over the place so i wouldn't even date somebody so yeah next question have i ever cheated or have i ever been cheated on have i ever cheated no um ever even felt the need to entertain multiple people it's just unnecessary like being open to dating and letting each other know that that's different but cheating negative um and have i ever got cheated on yeah i've gotten cheated on yeah it was hard but i took my l then i walked into a w stop playing with me because what <laughs> but yes i've been cheated on have i ever cheated no have i been cheated on yes let's move on okay so next would i take someone back after they cheated no i won't take somebody back if we are together we are together officially i'm girlfriend your boyfriend or maybe i'm married you're my husband i'm your wife and we are officially together and you go and do something with someone else you're done moving on what was the hardest thing to overcome in my relationships i've only been in two relationships y'all so i don't really have that much experience for me i'll say the hardest thing to, like the hardest thing to overcome is just kind of like getting it all out your head y'all got all these memories we got all these memories we done did all these things and it's just like now we're here so i'll say just kind of like letting it all go is the hardest thing in a relationship and kind of just officially closing that door with that person and healing from it i'm pretty sure the door is closing for a reason so also healing from the damage that has been done uh so would i rather be single or in a relationship that's a good question right now i'd rather be single i don't want to be in a relationship i feel like i personally love too hard right now and i feel like i'm very very quick to settle for someone like if so and so act right he got me forever for the rest of my life like just make me happy i make you happy respect me loyalty all of that i'm not going i don't care what's out here i just don't i do not care what's out here like i'm not interested in seeing what other men are like like i'm real deal okay with settling i would rather be single than in a relationship what is my relationship status right now turning everybody down will i ever be open to letting people in yeah but not right now am i dating to marry or dating temporarily i'm dating to marry y'all i'm not even the type to just give myself to anybody and there's a reason for that I just respect myself too much and I don't feel like I'm something that everybody should be able to claim they had. So I am dating to marry, which is why I am waiting to date. <laughs> uh, moving on, what are my future plans? Getting the heck out of Arkansas. I do not want to be in Arkansas anymore. I do plan on moving. That will be a conversation for another video. Whenever things do start happening. I'm not gonna say too much, but just know things are coming into play in my life as far as my future. My future plans are being a realtor, having hair as a side hustle, and about four or three cars in my yard that all belong to me, being a house owner by the age of 22, 23, selling houses around the age of 19, 20, and yeah, doing my thing for real. I'm really excited. I also plan on getting into photography, so i just yeah so yeah those are my future plans how did i make my hair grow so fast this became my best friend y'all this is the only thing the only oil i use on my hair as far as growth wise this is how long my hair is now this is what i look like my seventh grade year this is what i look like now i did a big old chop y'all so i also like massage my scalp like when i'm putting the oil in i'm like 
getting into that um what is the tea on my love life i think i kind of answered that through the other questions but i am single eventually i will be open to dating how is my real estate going so currently i am taking my courses everything is online so as soon as i get my courses done i'm going to go take my test to get my license and whenever i get my license that's when i'll find me a little crew to work with okay so next question is unpopular opinion unpopular opinion mm, little caesars is nasty what is my favorite hairstyle to do I don't know y'all, I'm kind of feeling these. Like, I'm really obsessed with my micro twists. I don't really do these on clients, but I mean, it's not that bad. But this is my favorite hairstyle so far. I also like doing like bohemian knotless on myself. So I'll say this as far as something natural. And then as far as braids, I love me some small knotless braids or small box braids. Anything small, I love, so yeah. Would I ever date the same gender? Mm -mm. I have no problem with it. I gotta be careful how I word this because I can't get canceled. So I have no problem with same genders dating each other. Um, but I definitely prefer men. I prefer men. Do I have a first love? Yes, I have a first love. The love for him will never go away. So yeah. Moving on, next question is would I ever take my ex back? Things would have to be completely different if I was to ever. So yes, I would take him back, but under the same circumstances on why we aren't together, no. But would I take him back? Yes. Last question, question number 25. What is my type? Hmm. Uh, my type, I'll say you gotta have hair. Color don't really matter, but I do see more interest in lighter skin complexions you gotta have a heart if you don't have no heart if you don't have no sensitivity do not even do not even look at me um i don't really care for nonchalant people so really down to earth really open um i don't like sassy men someone who really can take full control and responsibility of everything in their life that i don't really have specifics i'm just kind of going off of personality you still got to be attractive in some sort. So yeah, that's my answer to that. Anyways, this is the end of the video. If you guys want to see more of Q&As, let me know down in the comments. It was really fun. I'm not even going to lie. There were definitely more than 25, like I said earlier in the video. But it was so many of them, y'all. I had to give a number. I had to say, okay, we're going to do this many and that's it. But it was funny. It was funny reading all of them. I really appreciate everybody who did say something in the box and gave a question. I appreciate y'all for the most part. Thank you so much. If y'all don't mind giving this a thumbs up. And if you ain't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Because as I say on all of my videos what are you doing what are you doing so go ahead and press that subscribe button go ahead and turn on that bell so whenever i do post more content you are updated anyways this is the end of the video thank you guys for watching if y'all made it this far love you bye